Hi, Cindy Tipton here. I made a few videos while I was making a ceramic wall mask and uh, broke them down into parts and I'll be posting them on my Facebook and sending them out to my friends. So this is part one where I take the raw clay and actually make a mask. Enjoy! Mush the sides and I'll run it through. Lab roller smushes it through these canvas things. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. There we go. And it makes it into a flat slab, which comes out on the other side. So now I will look at the slab and see if it looks anything at all like the shape of a mask. And it does. So I think that would be an interesting mask. And so I'll take this one. I need to compress the clay. And so I'll use my rubber rib and just kind of rub over it, smushing all the clay particles down. It doesn't have to be perfect, just helps it to hold together good. And uh, I know it seems funny to say, but if you see those kind of colored streaks in there, that's mold. So this is good moldy clay. I've decided this is the back and I put these little tab things on there. And uh, when it is leather hard, I'll put a hole through that, and that is how I can attach a hanging wire. This is my armature. It's a rolled up towel. I'm going to take this off, turn it over on this, which will give it the curve that it needs. Now I'm going to take this uh, wooden dowel, and I'm going to insert it here underneath so it will make a nose ridge. Now it's ready for positioning the eyes and the mouth. Um, the eyes, I'm thinking, should be right about in here, so I'll just make a depression. Remember, this is a pretty thin slab of clay, so make depressions for the eyes. The nose will be built here, and then the mouth will follow the nose. So. To do the eyes is really interesting. I take a little bit of clay and make kind of a, a teardrop shape. And this will be the part that is your eyebrow and the fat that is underneath your eyebrow. Clay's all really soft now, so It'll stick to itself if I work it on there. So now I got some nice hollow pockets for the eyeballs. And I'm going to take a couple pieces of clay and this will be the eyeball and the lid on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to use this little tool to get it started make it look like an eye. All of my eyes seem to look the same. In fact, all of my people look the same. They all look like they're related, which I think is funny. Okay, very basic, but that's the shape I want, so let me try to get it on the other side. Okay, it's still really rough, 
but I've got the eyes on. So now I will make a nose. And I've got the ridge that goes up between the eyes, which I like. My noses are almost always the same. I think I'm gonna make this one more of a beak. So. The problem with making thick areas of clay on top of the thin areas of clay is that when it dries, um, there could be problems. So once this is done, I'll probably hollow out the space underneath that nose to make it uh, a little more equal to the rest of it. We want them to be interesting. So I think that's a pretty interesting nose. Put a little thing down here so it connects to the lip. Okay. Now I need to put on a mouth and, um, oh, my mouth looked the same too. I went to a class uh, with a really kind of famous artist, Philippe Ferreau, and he gave a class, oh, I don't know, about eight years ago up in uh, Akron, up around Akron, Cleveland area. And I was able to go, which was one of the greatest learning things I have ever got to do and I was really happy I got to go. Now if I was making this look real I would put that right up against the nose but this is a long face so it's going to have an unnatural dip in here. That's okay I like it. All right, now I'll put the bottom on. And then we'll give him a chin. Now all these features take more work. This is just getting the basics on. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do before I let it rest is I'm going to open up the nose holes. 
because that will change the way the nose looks. Much bigger and more manly. Okay, now I'm going to let her rest.